Perhaps the most common of all the requests we received from you was the one in which you asked us to make a top list of the dog breeds that can defeat a wolf. Before we start talking about this topic, let's deal briefly with wolves, in general. Wolves, called Canis lupus in Latin, are the largest predators of the order of canines, with nearly 30 subspecies, and because of this, they vary greatly from area to area, both in color, weight, or strength. What the general public usually think of when it comes to wolves is the gray wolf, which is prevalent primarily in North America and the Eurasian region. If we talk about gray wolves, there are significant weight differences between them, in average reaching 40 to 50 kilograms, but experience shows that specimens living in the northern and eastern European regions can weigh significantly more than this, reaching up to 60 to 80 kilograms. The heaviest gray wolf killed, authentically recorded in human written history, weighed 86 kilograms and was shot in Ukraine. Although there are no validated measurements, some ethologists think that the bite strength of a larger gray wolf can reach up to 1,200 psi. After all this and with this knowledge, the question rightly arises as, are there any dog breeds at all who can win a one-on-one -on -one fight with an adult, large-sized gray wolf? If that was the question, the answer would be very simple in our opinion, and it would sound like this, there is not any dog breeds like this. However, the question is wrong, as such encounters and fights between dogs and wolves typically do not happen this way, since, on the one hand, wolves usually live and hunt in packs, and on the other hand, the breeds frequently used against them were typically kept in pairs, but more often in packs as well. Moreover, on the part of the shepherd dog breeds that are often used for such purposes, the main expectation was not to engage in direct fights with the wolves, but rather to deter them back. This is why this top list will include those dog breeds who, in our opinion, may have a chance against wolves if they are not working alone but in a pack. If you're curious about the rest of the series, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell button so you'll always be notified of new parts. 10. Irish Wolfhound This huge dog breed from Ireland played a significant role in the extermination of wolves in Ireland. Irish wolfhounds were also used in packs against wolves, which can clearly be seen by the survival of a written record from 1786 when a group of Irish wolves killed the last living Irish wolf in the Mount Leinster Mountains around Carlo. 9. Dogo Argentino Although Dogo Argentinos have never hunted wolves in their history, as they were used against wild boars and cougars in Argentina, where they were bred, we felt they had a place on this list. The Dogos are powerful hunters with awesome physical abilities, who were able to stand up to almost any game living in Argentina in a team of three to four dogs. 8. Tosa Inu The Tosa Inu has never been a hunting dog and they never worked in teams, so how do they get into this list? Originally, Tosas were bred for one sole purpose, which was dogfights in Japanese arenas. They're scary warriors that make them one of the most banned dog breeds all over the world. In our opinion, because of their excellent fighting virtues and large size, an adult Tosa might be the breed that can have a chance against a smaller wolf. However, since there is almost no chance that such an encounter will ever take place, all this can be considered as speculation. 7. Borbul This formidable Mastiff breed was bred by boar farmers in South Africa to protect vast areas and flocks. Borbuls were kept and employed in packs of 20 to 30 dogs, and were supposed to protect the farmer's property against the most dangerous beasts around the globe effectively. Therefore, we think that if they were effective against hyenas, baboons, and big cats, they would not be ashamed of wolves either. 6. Hungarian Commodore and Cuvas These two Hungarian iconic shepherd dogs, for centuries, effectively protected the property of their owners against all kinds of intruders. Their immense strength, agility and last but not least, their fur structure made them excellently suited for this task. What makes them only sixth on this list is that they were decimated heavily and almost died out in his second world war and both breeds had to be recreated from the remaining some dozens. In our days the Commodore program running in America is a resounding success and the Cuvas is becoming increasingly popular in Canada today under working conditions. 5. Great Pyrenees Dog This breed, developed in the Pyrenees and used for herding for centuries, had to guard herds against wolves, bears and robbers for a long time. The Great Pyrenees also worked in teams and are still very effective today. 
Due to the growth of the coyote and wolf populations, they are also becoming more popular in the United States. 4. Sarplaninac, or Yugoslav Wolf Killer This breed, formerly known as the Illyrian Shepherd, was bred by the people of the Balkans Mountains primarily for the effective protection of their flocks and values. The breed was so successful in all this that in the former Yugoslavia they were also used for service purposes, for example in the military, and their export from the country was banned until the 1970s. Soon we will also make a breed introduction about his special breed, for which we have already found the right breeding partner. 3. Caucasian Shepherd Although few know that the breed was finalized in Soviet Red Star Kennel by Soviet ethologists after the Second World War, the predecessors of the present Caucasians have accompanied and protected flocks for centuries against wild animals, including wolves. They also worked in teams and so had to stand their ground this way. The Caucasians are sometimes, otherwise mistakenly, called Caucasian bear killers. 2. Central Asian Shepherd Among the dog breeds living today, the Central Asian Shepherd dogs are undoubtedly one of the most suitable shepherd dogs, which, when working in a team, is extremely effective against wild animals, including wolves. This, of course, is not a coincidence at all, as Central Asian Shepherds have been doing this work for hundreds of years and are perhaps one of the most rustic and untouched breeds. One, and finally, on the top of the list is the Turkish Kangal. Although Kangals are surrounded by an enormous amount of rumors, legends and mysteries, in which Turkish marketing campaigns also play a significant part, it is nonetheless unquestionably true. There are few more effective formations against wild animals than the Kangals working in packs. This is so true that in Africa, for example, to which large numbers of Kangals were exported, they also stood their ground against cheetahs. However, it is also true that wolves in Asia are significantly smaller than European grey wolves, who have certainly given the lesson to the Kangals who were imported to the regions where grey wolves live. You can hear details about this in our Kangal breed introduction film, in which a breeder talks about his experiences in detail. If you like this series, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell button to get notifications of new parts. Thank you very much for your attention.